All right, now we're going to go ahead and install Kali Linux into VirtualBox. So let's go ahead and get to the Kali Linux website at kali.org. Scroll down to the link here. Load that sucker up. Scroll down to the bottom to the virtual images. We're going to click that button. Scroll down once more. Select the pre-built Kali, pre Kali Linux VirtualBox images. Select the appropriate bit version. And then go ahead and get your download going. I've already downloaded and got the file extracted as you can see right here. So let's go ahead and open up VirtualBox. And what you want to do is go to Machine and click Add. Okay, and as you can see right here, I have my virtual box image already downloaded and extracted. <clears throat> so all I'm going to do now is simply click on it, and this will automatically open up VirtualBox and begin to import our new appliance. So we're going to go ahead and just name this something a little bit more convenient. And then from here, you can go ahead and make any changes on your system. If you want to change the amount of RAM, DVD, USB, sound control, so on, etc. Once all your, all your changes have made, just go ahead and click the Import button. As you can see, it will begin to import the virtual image into VirtualBox, which might take a few minutes. That last 99% is always the longest. Alright, perfect. So we have two of them here, but the one that we just installed is this one right here, Kali Linux. So I'm simply going to go ahead and right click and click Start, or I could click the Start button up here. Doesn't matter. Let's just go ahead and get it started. We'll click enter or just hit the enter key. All right, the default username we're going to use is root with password tor, T O O R. And Kablamo, we have a Kali Linux operating system up and running. So, did not configure my network settings. So let's take a look at that real quick, real quick, haha, <laughs> real quick. So let's go back to this uh, the VMBX Virtual Box Manager. Right click on our machine, click Settings go to the network options and you can see it was already selected to NAT and that's the best default option so let's go ahead and cancel that I wanted to make sure that was where it was selected so we should have internet access so let's go ahead and see if we have an IP we do let's ping Google and we're good to go so at this point I would do a apt get update And then apt get upgrade and go ahead and get the operating system all up to date. And go ahead and stop that because I am going to kill that system anyways. So that's it. Virtual box. It's up and running. Kelly Linux. Simple. No problems. If you have any questions, please let me know. Thanks for watching, guys.